Hello, hello, hello. Uh, another day on the farm. Just heading to my neighbor, Barry, to buy the tractor to move uh, the pig huts we bought recently. Um, uh, since, since coming to the farm, where we started the farm, as, like I said, from scratch, we bought pigs, a group of pigs uh, of varied ages. And at the time, I could only afford to buy two huts and we just put them smalls and bigs and from someone coming from a sort of set up pig farms commercial pig farms uh i've always struggled since being here just having the pigs into size uh groups rather than the different age groups of wieners uh fit growers finishers sows boars separate but slowly, slowly but surely we've been able to um uh, sort of save up and buy a few bits and bobs sorting out the fencing and now we've got to a stage where we bought some huts recently so we've got uh, firing huts which are where the mothers are going to give birth individually I was going to do group firing but it's not gone well so I tried it with one batch it didn't go too well so I'm going to go back to individual firing um, also uh, we've got uh, wiener huts so when I wean the piglets they're going to actually go into a designated accommodation then after that they can go to the two big arcs we have which will be either growers or finishers and then i've also got hut for dry cells so i'm going to position them at different parts of the farm and slowly we're going to have an actual pig farm rather than just pigs roaming around um yeah i'm finding out in farming patience is key um but yeah let's see how it goes it's a bit windy so i'm hoping the huts don't try to play out too much while i'm lifting them was a success I went better than I thought um, so as you can see there I placed the first uh, firing hut there and then I'm debating whether why is this thing so close I'm debating whether to have uh, another one or another one or two behind it or um, put some in the next paddock which you can't see because it's in self uh, the next paddock there it's a bit windy that's what I'm filming in a tractor the next paddock there on the other side of that fence um so what i've decided to do i think i'll do two paddocks two huts here next to this one 
because the pigs will be there for up to eight weeks so they can um they can stay there and i can keep extending and then those guys there they finished their work in that paddock there if you can see uh there's four of them with uh 27 piglets they can go they're going to go what is this where they're doing they're going to go uh there i'm gonna split this in half this is quite big i'm gonna split this in half and they can go on that side because they've only got three weeks before I wean them and then they're going to move somewhere else. So they can just do that, um, root that up a little bit for those three weeks. And by the time they're gone and these guys are getting to um, uh, towards eight weeks, I could even put them on there to root that a little bit as well. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. This weather, honestly, it's just suddenly changed again to this. Please stay like this for the next two hours so I can finish doing my work, please. Thank you. Look at these little shits. Of all the places to root around, they choose by the battery. I bet they've chewed the wire. Oh, I can't get out the tractor. Oi, little shit. What are you doing? Here. Get out of it. Look, why? Honestly. Now they haven't. When I put that back on, I hope one of you gets zapped. Because the bottom wire is not on. So. Uh, pigs, what the hell? All that space, look. You can go everywhere. You choose here. Let's have a look how on it is. Oh, yeah, it's not chewed. Get out of it. It's not chewed, so I might. I might actually connect. I'll find, yeah, I'll connect the top one with the bottom one, and then they can get sapped and then learn. So I'm having to walk around to see, because um, now the bottom one is on. Uh, I need to find ways to out so I can get it to work. Meanwhile, I'm being followed. They're watching what I'm doing. And then they're going to go share with the others how I did it and then they can come and break the fence later. Pigs. Right, I've gone round, lifted up the fence to be off the ground and it's finally ticking now. Um, it's not fully 10 but it's enough to keep them back. I'm going to move them across here in the next few days anyway so it's just to train the piglets to respect the fence. And also if you look at that hat there, I'm facing it away from so that's the m27 there behind that um the c is that side so the wind always comes this way so facing it like that it blocks the when the piglets are in it'll block them from the wind um and i think um back to the uh and the liberating that i was doing earlier i think i'll put three three hats along there and just fence the whole paddock as as one with three hats in rather than having individual ones it's just less Less work, I don't have to use enough. I don't have to use as much fencing, which I don't have enough of anyway. Um, but yeah, I think that's what I've decided. Split this area in half, I just zoom out. Split this area here in half, where the, from where the tractor is this way. Split it in half. This side will be three huts of sows I'm gonna fire next week. And this side will be uh, a dry sow hut with the four sows that I've already got piglets and they're piglets and they'll be here for another three weeks then they're gonna get beat and then the cycle carries on. Rain again, why? Also, back to this, I decided I'm not gonna get outsmarted by five week old piglets. So I've got that closer, the wires I've put up there, so hopefully they're not gonna um, chew them. Also, just thinking, um, with all the rain that we've had, you see the tractor's leaving marks, but fair play this ground. And it differs so much because if you look where the pigs are, that area there is boggy. And the back by the gorse hedge is not as boggy. On the left side where they were before and the grass is growing now, that top bit isn't boggy. But then coming down here by the Hudson, which you see better days, um, that area is also boggy. So yeah, it's so interesting how this field varies. Coming down this way, I don't know if you can see properly there, 
though, man. Uh, yeah, that area is also boggy. Yeah, there's a lot to learn. Firing how to move. Now to move the dry sow hatch is a bit longer. I've had to do a bit of a bodge with the uh, with the strops here. Yeah. Made it in one piece. The sheep doing good. So I've moved the three. Um, I've moved the three firing huts, and now I keep putting this way too close to my face. Um, and then now three firing huts and one dry style hut. Now I'm going to get a frame to move the um, to move the dry the. I can't think today. I've, I was up most of the night because uh, little baby wasn't feeling well, so excuse my slowness. Uh, the wiener, the wiener hat or chalo, I'm going to get the frame to move that with. And because it's quite wide, I don't even think I'll make it going the way I'm going to go. I'm going to go through the field and up. So by through the field, this is what I mean. So just open the gate here where the sheep are, go down there, through there's a gate in the corner, and then go all the way up. I want to go to the corner of the field there. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I can make it. Challenge number one, trying to get through this bit here without hitting any of the posts. Oh, this is not going to be good. Hopefully that's not parallel or it's not directly opposite. Can slot in there. Please, 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 please. Opa, look at this. Woo! I've not done this before, but we're slowly. Oh, this is going to be tricky. I think I might have to go this way. And, and then we're going to just swing it around. Oh, look at that. Precision. Ah! Now the next bit will definitely be trickier. Just picking up the hat and then going all the way to the field. I don't think I'm gonna make it, but I'm gonna give it a go anyway. Take one, uh, we've got two equal length strops uh, on the corners here. Where I bought the hats, they had like a square frame, which had um, hooks all around to lift it. And this is working well, but the issue is that's too much, too much gap there, because I'm gonna have to lift it much higher when I get around the, the other side. I've got a shorter strop here, which I'm gonna go and see if my neighbor Blake on the other side there has got one similar height, similar length, and then I can come and swap it. So I want that a little bit shorter to give me room when I've got to like go past the car there, I'm gonna to have to lift it over the car or move it just in case I drop it and then just go around like that. So yeah, but it's good to know that my plan works. I was gonna go for uh, a strop on each hook, but that would have been way too long, but hopefully, I can find a strop the same size as this one and we'll be firing. You can't beat helpful neighbours. Um, they did have one exactly the same as this, but I've got two that are shorter than these ones and they're fairly identical. So we'll see how they go. But yeah, moving this Don Colleone is going to be fun. Right, so uh, the strops still quite long, but I've had to loop four times each side and I've got less um, I've got less gap in between the hat and the frame so hopefully this will work I've got zero confidence in it but fingers crossed actually upon further inspection I might have to do a fifth um, a fifth loop on the left hand side because that's the stroke that's a little bit longer than one on the right so just correct, better safe than sorry. See how this goes. Opa! Let's go. Right, now the longest journey ever. I'd rather this took me an hour and get there in one piece than rush it. 
I mess up because if this thing drops, it is curtains. Thing is, I don't think I'm going to get through here. Ah, obstacle number one. Oh, this is so annoying. How am I going to go? How high can I go? Oh, that's the highest I can go. Great. Yeah, the gap there doesn't look big enough. Ah! Falling at the first hurdle. Oh. How are we gonna try? La 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 la. How am I gonna do this? Am I get any higher? Oh, steady. I need to be the tiniest bit higher. Oh, I think I can make it. I think I can make it. Rock with me. Please rock with me. I'm sweating like there's no tomorrow. Put it on tortoise mode, which is really slow. Oh, please don't take the roof off. Please don't take the roof off. On the roof now. Right, let's just keep going a little bit and see where we get to. Ah, please don't take the roof off. I'm hoping if we just go gently, gently, I don't know if you can see there. I'm on the roof there. If I go gently, gently, I can make it. And then this side I'm on there. This is stress. Luckily, on this side, which is on the roof, they are, uh, they are, there's plastic flaps and wooden flaps which move. So I'm hoping that's not going to do too much damage to the roof. But I definitely don't think I'm going to make it past the, the, um, the oak tree. Oh! Situation. Oh. All right, the gutter seems to be giving way. Now I'm caught on that. Oh no! Oh, we made it through there. Please come on! Please come on! Please come on! Oh, we have lost uh, the gable end of the shed which uh, is fixable, I guess. Whoa, what's going on there? I've also got a post to the left, which I need to avoid. Um, but so far, the only damage we've done is, I'll show you in a second. Oh, yeah, that's the only damage we've done so far. Just bend that back, will be all right. All right, now the interesting, interesting side. S squeaky bum time, squared. And the fact that I can't see properly as well, that doesn't help. But I'll lift it up. Uh, I'll just keep going slowly. I might have to crank the speed up a little bit. Just. Oh, yeah, hey, 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 that was a bit too quick. I don't trust this, so I'm going to move our car because I know what could happen is I'm not going to move the car and then uh, it'll fall on it. So, nah. I'm not taking that risk, not today. moved the journey continues I'm gonna try not to damage any more any more things twigs and stuff don't count I 
like I've got a bramble bush kind of getting pruned to my right just missed the ash tree on my left I'm gonna drop it down a little I'm glad I moved the car because if the car was still there I would have definitely scratched it then just gonna drop it a little bit go around and here is where it's gonna be tricky I'm gonna have to prune the top of our hedge as I go past I've got trees on one side, hedge on the other. Good thing the, the power lines aren't low or near here. So we're gonna lift it up like that. Sorry, sorry hedge. Incoming. So hedge will grow back, don't worry. Yeah, this is what I'm thinking, going past that big tree. This is where I'm being very ambitious here, but... If I make it, I'm gonna treat myself to a drink tonight. Here now, I'm gonna have to swing to the left, towards the garden, so I can go past this tree. Issue, 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 issue. Right, that's too high. Alright, reverse back. Reverse back and go. Yeah, swing. Drop it a little bit. You can sit on the hedge. Just swing. Now I'm swinging. I'm swinging left. So I can go past the tree. Hedge will grow back, don't worry. It's a little bit of rhododendron. Just hope I don't hit the tree. Because there's not much give on the tree, but there's give on the hedge. See the hedge is just flinging back, missing the tree nicely. Uh, yeah, missing the tree. The sheep in the field are looking at me like, what the hell are you doing? Ah, uh, that's, yeah, that's not bad, it'll grow back. Now we're gonna get into the field. Might give it a bit more beans. Yeah, that's enough. Because any more than that, we have issues with There's a twig. Please don't break on the tractor. Oh, that's ping back nicely. Oh, we got a tree here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm focusing on one side and forgetting. To the left, we got a tree by Steve's house. So here, we're going to have to swing it right. the gate post hopefully miss a tree am I missing the tree yeah just oh just the tree right now what I said about if this goes too high because the truck does not wait it I'm gonna have to drop it down just in case because I'm going down here and I can Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh, even the camera fell. That made me panic. But you can feel the back end of the tractor get lighter. Makes parts, some muscles in your body tighten up involuntarily. Right, we made it to this stage. I'm gonna go shut the gate so the sheep don't get out. Right, let's continue. I've got a plan B in mind. Hope I won't need to use plan B. Might need to use plan B actually. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna take it steady. Cruise down like this. I could have put it on the trailer, I think I said earlier, I could have put it on the trailer and taken it to the field by the road, but I thought I'd give this way a go. If this fails, I will do the trailer method. Um, if, the trailer, if the tractor's available tomorrow, uh, I might ask if I can borrow with a trailer and move it like that. At least we've got options, but I don't like being defeated. So, we're gonna, we're gonna try this way. This field is not, oh, oh shit. 
I think I've run out of fuel. Oh. Yep, I've run out of fuel. <laughs>